Hey guys, welcome to our video, Gymnast versus Military. Um, my name's Nathan, I'm a national level gymnast and this here is my friend Dom who has been training in the military for several years now. We both train quite a lot but with the way in which we train is very, very different. Um, Dom, would you like to tell them just a little bit about what kind of training you do in the military? Sure, um, I do lots of uh, endurance training whereas uh, running uh, for long distances, periods of time and sprinting. I also do a lot of gym work uh, which includes uh, more endurance training. So we thought it, we thought it would be interesting to see um, out of the two of us who is the more well-rounded athlete in terms of fitness because as Dom said a lot of what he does is kind of endurance based or lots of repetition based whereas what I do as a gymnast is a lot more power based. So we've got seven seven events which we're going to be doing today. Some of them are more power based, some of them more endurance based and we're going to see who can who can beat the other in um, the majority of the events. And the loser has to buy the winner a pint at the end of the day. So let's see how it goes. That was the first one where I struggled a little bit. Go, 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 go. Yeah, come on, come on. So our next challenge is going to be chin-ups. We're going to see who can do the most chin-ups in undergrass in one minute. Let's get it going. Two, one, go. Okay, since Dom beat me by a tiny little margin on the chin-ups, I'm pretty determined to beat him on the next one. The next challenge is press-ups in one minute. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds left. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, 
five seconds left. 41. 42. You jam your best. The next challenge is maximum standing jump height. We're going to jump as high as we possibly can and I'm going to time how long we're in the air for to determine who jumps the highest. Okay, so we're five challenges down and we've got two challenges left to go. At the moment, it is 3-2 to me, so Dom's got some catching up to do. Our next challenge, however, is very much in his favour. It's the endurance running test. We're going to see who can run around this football pitch the most times in 10 minutes. Dom's going to go first. I really think Dom's got an edge over me on the endurance test because as we said right at the beginning, Dom's done a lot of endurance running during his um, military training and as a gymnast the vast majority of what we do is short bursts. So I need to be fit enough to perform a floor routine but even that is only just over one minute long. We do very little in the way of aerobic endurance work but I'm going to give this a good go for all the same. Look at this, supreme athleticism. Two laps down. Dom's on his ninth lap and he's got just under one minute left so I reckon he's just about going to complete that ninth lap and then it's my turn. Last ten seconds Dom, come on push. Five, four, three, two, one and stop. That's ten minutes. Good job man, that was just under nine laps. How are you feeling? <laughs> Is that alright? Yeah. yeah. Two, yeah. one, go. Pray for Nate. I've got a stitch already, I swear. One down. Three minutes and you're three down. That's only two minutes. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> It should be three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not very far. Ah. It's eight minutes, 25. Right. Music blaring to give him plenty of motivation. <laughs> 10 seconds left. And stop. How did that go? You are the worthy winner, Don Brown. I bow down to you. Oh, it's dead. So at the moment it is three points each because Dom smashed me on the endurance run and it all boils down to the finale, which is the sprint. We're going to be sprinting from one set of goalposts to the other and obviously the first person to cross the line will be the winner. I do quite a lot of sprint training to improve my run-up speed for vault, but I'm used to running only 25 metres, so quite how well I will fare on a, um, a longer distance, I'm not 100% sure. You don't do much sprint training, do you? Um, occasionally. Yes. Occasional sprint training, so I think this one could be quite close, although Dom has the obvious advantage of having a much, a much longer stride because he's so damn tall. Three, two, one, go!
So after reviewing the finishing line footage, we're going to have to conclude that our foot race was a draw. There was literally no significant difference between the two of us. So we are forced to conclude that gymnastics and the military are equal in fitness, which is quite a nice outcome for this. So um, we're going to go and have a point soon a bit. Cheers, <laughs>